So this is a good time to circle back and talk about the concept of independence, right? So we talked about this early on in the context of uh, events. We said that events A and B are independent if the probability of A and B is the same as the probability of A times the probability of B, right? That was our definition. And an equivalent way of thinking about this was that the probability of A given B was the same as probability of A, right? That knowing that B happened doesn't tell me anything new about whether A happened or not, right? Now I want to talk about two random variables being independent. So I can say that two random variables, X and Y, are independent if basically the product or the probability of um, X being in event A and Y being in event B is simply the product of these two probabilities for any events A and B. Okay. Now this is a little bit tedious to actually manually check. But there's an easy way, an equivalent statement, which is just that, um, let me just say it explicitly, that X and Y are independent random variables if their joint PDF factors as the PDF in X times the PDF and Y. Okay, super easy to check whether that's true or not, right? So you just look at the PDF and you tell, hey, this is something that um, looks like a piece in X and a piece in Y. So for example, let's suppose I look at the uniform random variables. So in 2D, this is basically like saying, okay, I have a joint PDF that looks like a box, right? And so that joint PDF is equal to 1 if uh, x and y are both inside this 0, 1 square and 0 otherwise, right? That's just like from the top, I have this square like this. And I can see that this is just the product of a uniform random variable in X times a uniform random variable in Y, right? So I can see that um, this is the same as uh, a uniform random variable in X times a uniform random variable in Y. Right, this is like the part of X, and this is the part of Y. Okay, so it's easier to see when we talk about algebra type functional forms, and I'm going to do a bunch of examples of this in a couple lectures from now. So let's talk about one that's not independent, though. Suppose that I have a uniform random variable, but it's over a region like a diamond shape. Okay, so let's suppose that. Um, X and Y are uh, uniform inside this diamond, right? So let's suppose the diamond goes from uh, plus one to minus one in both dimensions. Okay. So um, I'm not going to do a whole bunch of computations here, but I know that this, you know, marginal in X looks like something that goes from minus one to one. Same for marginal and y, right? And I could ask, okay, well, um, are these random variables independent? Well, they're not, and here's the reason why. So let's consider like this point out here, which is kind of like, um, say I have um, three quarters, comma three quarters. Well, this point is not possible to get in the joint random variable, right? Because three quarters comma three quarters is outside of this line. So this PDF value is zero. But 
I can see that it is possible to get three quarters in X, if I think about X just independently, right? So separately, you know, these two values, I'm sorry, if I put this like three quarters, you know, I, I get something. I don't know what it is. Let's call it A, which is not equal to zero, right? So the product of these things is not the same as zero, right? If things were independent, then I would have to have these things be also zero, right? So not independent. Kind of one way to think about this is that, you know, the larger X is, right? The smaller the range of Y, right? So clearly X and Y are related to each other in a way that one has some bearing on the other one, right? And so independence is one way of characterizing whether or not that kind of relationship exists. And we're going to talk about another related idea, which is called correlation in the next couple lectures. And then we'll make the correlation and independence connection a little bit clearer. But I wanted to just get out right in front and talk about this key idea of independence between two random variables, because a lot of times it's much easier to assume that random variables are independent. Sometimes they are in the real world and sometimes they're not, but we'll talk about that some more.